Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video I've got three replays for you on the British Tier 8 Heavy Premium Tank, the Charlemagne, which is currently on contract. Um, so you've got about a month left on this. So if you haven't done it already or if you're not sort of progressing for it and you're sort of in line about whether to do it, then uh, yeah, these videos hopefully, or replays should I say, will give you a bit of an insight into what it's all about. So equipment run on the uh, Charlemagne, I've got vents, advanced gun lane drive and gun rammer. And on the perks, I've got born leader, rapid reload, sixth sense, steady aim, snapshot, situational awareness, run and gun, trap mechanic and off-road driving. Um, majority of these perks and equipment are focused on improving the gun handling. Uh, in a nutshell, this gun is very derpy but you do have 440 alpha on your standard and your premium shells. Uh, so that is a lot of alpha, that is a you know, big alpha at tier eight. So you can kind of understand why the gun handling is what it is. I mean, even with those um, perks, that still sort of just brings the, um, brings my accuracy down to 0.35 and the aim time down to 2.78 seconds. So. That's with all these perks. Uh, but that kind of just goes to show how derpy this gun is, even without you know, without those perks and, and, and equipment. It really is going to be a struggle to make the gun work. So I really would just recommend uh, making that gun as, as accurate and as usable as possible. So sort of aside from the gun, you've got a bit of turret armor, so you, you, know, you can play this gun hold down, um, or tank hold down, should I say, you've got 10 degrees of gun depression as well. Um, so yeah, it, it is a hold down type tank. Uh, it's sort of similar to your Conqueror, your Carnarvon, those sort of tanks, yeah, it's the same bracket really. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, there's not much else to say other than that, it's yeah, typical British heavy. So, and you can see we're using that sort of hold down um, turret armor to our sort of, to our benefit. Um, now the turret isn't completely indestructible uh, like the Conqueror. Um, you know, you do have some, you know, you do have some weak points on it. You've got a big cupola, which can get penned. Um, and I think the cheeks feel a little, I think the cheeks are a little bit weak as well by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, when you come up against tanks that are firing premium, you know, they, they may well sort of punch through them. Um, Mobility-wise, it isn't too bad. It's, it's yeah, I mean, the sort of your, your top forward speed is 35 kilometers an hour, so it's standard sort of standard heavy tank speed. But um, with the off-road driving perk, uh, I've managed to sort of you know get the sort of mobility a little bit better in terms of you know your traverses on on your on your hull, it's nice to sort of be able to sort of spin in and sort of, you know, dodge uh, dodge those shells, so to speak, sort of get into cover a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, that, again, why we're running off road driving. So first replay, we are on Fiat Full Ridge here, and we are top tier. And um, so far, we've been sort of having a bit of a brawl with these heavy tanks. Um, particularly the Russian heavy that's been in front of us, but we have been sort of shooting through uh, the top of his roof there. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we, he's down to a one shot now, and hoping we can sort of try and take him out. Uh, we do spot a tank destroyer in the rear there, I think it's a stern wheel possibly. Um, but now we've got this light tank that is flanking around to the left of us, which is gonna be a bit of an issue. And you can notice here, we've only got a heavy tank with us and a tank destroyer in the back there. Not sure how useful that tank destroyer is going to be. Now you can see there you have to kind of lead your shells on this because the shell velocity, uh, yeah, it, it's not great. I mean, your standard rounds only have 597 meters per second shell velocity, which is terribly silly, which is why I'm running the premium AP here. Not only obviously for the better penetration values, but the shell velocity is about 924 meters per second, which is, well, it's better than standard, but I mean, it's still, you know, it's just borderline on the okay, you know, from sort of the bad to the okay. So, um, yeah, you do need to lead your shots in this. Um, 
so yeah just bear that in mind when you're sort of you know, shooting light tanks make sure you lead the shots uh, otherwise you know you're going to struggle so yeah the, the, this game so far is it's it's been pretty even um, we've stuck in this position because we've obviously been fighting that Russian heavy uh, I think he's still alive unfortunately we missed the shot on that tank destroyer that sort of just crossed right in front of us um, that probably could have been a bit better aimed than me but again like I say the accuracy is very derpy on this tank so you need to give it time um, we do manage to snap the shot into that medium tank though that comes rushing out. Luckily the Tiger 2 that's stuck with us manages to take that guy out. Um, <coughs> we just, well, <laughs> made a hash of that shot and we took one in return unfortunately from that, uh, from that Russian heavy tank which isn't ideal. But I think our tank, uh, our tanker, our Tiger 2 looks like he's had enough and might actually be sort of pushing him and um, which will help us because i think he's got a bit more health than us anyway so hopefully he can sort of take a bit of punish we're just sort of pre-aiming this position because we're waiting for this uh, object um to poke and he does some i don't know why he sort of decided to rush out there but uh, luckily he did because that you know we managed to get shot into his side with, uh, yeah, so now we can sort of push aside. We've got the Sturmil here who's, you know, just been shot down like that. We managed to get the kill shot in for our second kill. Um, putting our damage up to 3,000 there. And uh, we got about 786 spot and assist. So it's it's been a bit of an average game so far, to be fair. Um, we haven't really made much progress apart from sort of sitting in that uh, same position that we have. But there wasn't really much we could do. We couldn't really push out. So there was sort of tanks there. We were sort of in a brawl with that, um, with that object. So yeah. But like I say, with the turret, you know, it, it, it can, it can sort of withhold for so long until sort of people start figuring where the weak points are. And once they've found it, then yeah, they're just going to go for it, not a problem. So we are moving up now. We're going to try and see if we can. The uh, enemy tank destroyer and uh, heavy tank, but I think the ta tank destroyer has just been taken out by a friendly team. Uh, I don't think we're going to get over to the heavy tank. So, but uh, yeah, we're going to give it a go anyway. If hopefully we can sort of find him, potentially get another shot in. Um, but no, at this rate, is probably looking quite unlikely. Um, so yeah, like I say, mo mobility. It, it's, Sluggish, but uh, it's not so sluggish. You know, not like super heavy and something like that. It's you, know, you can still sort of, you know, sort of averagely get across the map. Um, but yeah, we can sort of wiggle sort of sideways quite nicely uh, with off-road driving. So there we go. We finish that replay there. Um, only picking up, let's say, three k damage, two kills, seven hundred eighty-six assist. Uh, wasn't sort of uh, you know big barnstorm of a game, but. Again, just sort of shows um, kind of what the Charlemagne can do in sort of those brawling situations. Um, so yeah, so it's a good replay to sort of show you know highlight that in a sense. So moving on to the second replay now, and um, we're on Himmelsdorf, and I think we're platooned up with Kingpin in this one. Um, he's decided to sort of go down the free line and hold that side. I'm going to go up to the hill because 10 degrees of gun depression, I might as well use it. Hey, you know, like I say, going down the, uh, going down the train tracks there, uh, it's, it's not really going to benefit me whatsoever. So I decided to make this play up to the hill and hopefully we can sort of try and <clears throat> get some shots in. Um, hoping sort of a fair, you know, fair few tanks come up to the hill, and then, you know, like I say, gives us sort of plenty of to plenty to shoot at. So we've moved up there. The light tank has come up to this position. I'm not entirely sure why. Again, I wouldn't sort of play this position with a light tank, um, but maybe it's come up here because you see in the middle sort of being covered and the train tracks being covered by a light tank. Personally, I just go and play the the, the train tracks. Um, 
so there'll be plenty more to spot up there and you know sort of make a bit more use um i've gone a bit okay <laughs> gone afk here because i think i was answering the door at this point um but we will get moving again shortly but you can see we've got support in our bulk horror and t29 which is good uh against you know two other tanks that have got great gun depression so again we're good you know don't blame them for the sort of playing this side and we get up we slap a shot into the mill there for 417 just low rolling but uh, we did track him in place unfortunately he's repaired his track now these tanks are sort of backed off a little bit i'm gonna make the play over <clears throat> um and uh, yeah wanted to sort of make my way over so i could get a bit closer to these guys um and sort of aim in unfortunately we lose a uh, kingpin um on the train tracks there um but we're gonna try and clear the hill out as as quickly as possible basically um and i've come to this mound because i can use this mound sort of use the gun depression the upper plate does actually have um does have sort of a, a bit of armor as well and let's like say sort of a, you know, i think if you hit the right angle then it'll bounce um so yeah we've we've got that bonus as well um we're just sort of waiting to poke a shot into the tiger one and we do manage him to take him out as a one shot for us there so we're gonna get rid of that tank um and now we're just gonna wait and see we've got to be careful there's another emil up on the hill there he's playing hold down i think he's reload but he's focusing on someone else so um i think i was sort of waiting for him to shoot um we've poked it we're trying to bait shots um now we're just going to sort of go and squeeze a shot into that one shot mill anyway take him out um that's fine we're happy to trade because we've also got a tank uh sort of behind we've got a light tank coming in as well now um but it's fine we're gonna get a shot into that light tank now we're on re reload we're just sort of hiding behind this roll we've got still got our two friendly tanks with us on the hill so um don't have to worry too much about getting shot from behind no idea how we managed to sneak that shot in now i honestly that was that was sort of through the eye of a needle there so that was a nice shot I managed to track that a mill in place i think he's on reload now so i'm gonna push this guy um weirdly enough we bounce his lower plate uh i, I pff, no idea how um but yeah that happened so we know he's on reload we've got these two tanks backing off here and they're both a one shot so we do squeeze a shot into the side of our T25. Now we're going to sort of focus on the stockade who's now looking at us. Just going to aim the shot in and there we go. We can finish that guy off. The Emil has made his way down this slope here to the right of us and is now sort of uh, running away. And I don't think we're going to get a shot into that guy. So um, that pretty much, yeah, calls that game a day there. But we had a nice little brawl there up on the hill, uh, managed to get sort of some damage in and a couple of kills. Uh, and there we go, we sort of finished top of the board. We've got four kills, three and a half K damage. And yeah, um, finishing off quite strong there. So not an, no assist, but yeah, that's fair enough. It's Himmelsdorf getting the first class there. And yeah, had a decent game. And now we're gonna move on to the third and final replay, which is on Siegfried line. So, bit of a sort of a mixed review on this map to be honest um you have got some ridges to obviously play but it's a bit far back so for me that's not ideal because you kind of it's in between you, you're kind of too far away from the fight um so yeah, yeah for me sort of playing these ridge lines just you know, just feels kind of wrong to be camping in a uh, heavy tank fine if they've taken the town and you're sort of you know you're pulling back to the hill as the last defense and that's fine you know you can you know that could work but on an offensive uh if we just sit on that ridge chances are we're not going to get any damage out of the game uh it's not going to happen you know we can't wait for the damage to come to us unless like i say we realize that the town is falling in which we can fall back but at the start of the game nah i'm, I'm just going to sort of try and get a decent position where I could potentially use my my turret armor and this is what i'm doing come to this position here now unfortunately we didn't quite let the gun aim in yeah that that tank was reversing so 
we were chancing the shot. We we were hoping it was going to hit, but it was 50-50, to be honest. So I was sort of, you know, um, I wasn't fully expecting that shot to go in. Now we are top tier, uh, so I'm playing a bit more aggressive than probably what I would if we were um, bottom tier. And I've come into the middle of the town here, and yeah, we squeeze a nice shot into that 50 TP there. I'm just backing up and getting close to the buildings because I want to sort of try and make myself as small as possible, and as you know, it's difficult to hit. Uh, we're looking at this 45 TP again. We do squeeze a shot in. And again, just sort of sticking close to the buildings. Don't want to take a shot. But that guy's backing off and he's a one shot for us now. And unfortunately, we, we fell for the classic bait there. And we get baited by uh, the 53 TP into the 50... No. I'm not sure what that is. Well, we get baited by one Polish heavy to be shot by another Polish heavy. Let's put it like that. And uh, yeah, so we move around and there we go, the 45 TP. The 45 TP baits us in for the 53 TP. Um, but we take out the 45 TP and we get a save. But we have lost quite a few hit points for it. It's not been the greatest of trades. Um, and yeah, it sort of bled a little bit from this crossfire. 53 TP comes around and yo know, just rushes his shot and yeah doesn't manage to hit us which is good so it's quite nice and we're going to try and see if we can potentially take out this 53 TP he's just fired so we're going to sort of move around and squeeze a shot into him now we're going to sort of push around a little bit more aggressive still being cautious we're on 624 hit points we see his G saw running away he's not even facing us which is great because we do get a shot into the side of him but I'm going to try and hide my tank as best as possible behind this dead wreck. Poking out to squeeze a shot and somehow he's managed to get that shot in. Fair enough. Um, he may well have sort of squeezed it through a gap into my plate. He is on the higher ground, so yeah, and he's a tank destroyer. So chances are you know, his penetration is pretty good. So that's fair enough. We can kind of you know, give him that. See this tank destroyer crossing, uh, not tank destroyer, heavy tank, sorry. We get a shot into his engine and we pick up our fourth kill of the game. We're up to 3.8k damage here. Uh, and yeah, this game is kind of pretty much all but done. Um, there's three tanks left. There's one in the town. I think there's two in the town actually. So we're going to sort of make our way. There's a VK that's, uh, I think, full health or near enough full health. So I'm going to possibly... <clears throat> I'm going to try and get a shot into that guy. There we go. You see, we've got his rear, so we slam a shot into his engine, breaking his engine there, leaving him 550 hit points. He's going to get taken out pretty surely. Trying to see if we could possibly get a kill on the right-hand side, but he gets taken out. Yeah, the, and the game is just it's over like that. But we um, we, we get, some, get a nice bit of damage there. Uh, we picked up 4.2k damage. We got four kills. Again, Coming top of the board, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't pick up the ace tanker. We did get the high caliber, we only got the first class. A um, couple more kills, maybe a bit more damage. I'd say probably 5k, you'd be, uh, you'd be, you'd be getting that ace. So yeah, not to, uh, not to worry too much. It's um, just one of those things, but still good game all in all. And yeah, so the Charlemagne, it's, it's a good tank. Um, I, I do like it. It's just the gun is very frustrating at times. It's quite troll, so it does need a bit of patience. But if you like your British heavies and you like something that's quite hard hitting, then you'll love the Charlemagne. Um, and like I say, you've got about a month left on it for the contract. So if you haven't started, get onto it now. And yeah, you may well be able to get it done if you just grind hard enough on it so anyway guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe comment on the on the video it really does help the channel and as always i'll catch you next time